I don't know that you can ever show that I denied figures. I never did. Investment Minister Dr. Ernest Soler, as he reacted to the release of the contracts between the government of St. Lucia and Caribbean Galaxy Limited by Impact World Media, a news site owned by Philippe Martinez of MSR Media. Martinez, who is locked in a legal battle over the operations of St. Lucia's CIP program and Caribbean Galaxy, has for months now insisted that the government has allocated 5,000 applications to Galaxy for the hotel project at Canels and 6,000 applications for the infrastructure project, which is yet to begin. Minister Hilaire has been consistent in denying the claim. Here he is in Parliament. St. Lucia has never approved 14,000 applications. I want to uh, repeat, St. Lucia has never approved 14,000 applications. At the pre-cabinet press briefing Monday, November 18, Minister Hiller said he simply did not reveal the commercial information because it is not a good look for the country and would deter future investors. We should not discuss and put out in the public private commercial information about investors into the country. I still believe a government must be responsible for investor confidence in your country. Investors have to know that they can, they can come to your country, they can invest, and you will not put out in the public the private commercial information. Why? They don't want their competitors to know what they are doing and the details of the concessions, the incentives and awards that they have. In fact, the confidentiality clause of the contract, it is stated that both parties agree that during the two-year term of the agreement and even after termination, they shall not use or disclose without the prior written consent from the other party details of the contract. But the minister told reporters that the more important questions lie with the contract signed by former Prime Minister Alan Chastney and Caribbean Galaxy. Dr. Hilaire pointed out that the original contract did not state the number of shares given to Galaxy. Former Prime Minister signed an agreement where he says to the developer, you can increase the number of shares whatever you want. All you have to do is say, I'm increasing the size of the hotel, I'm increasing the scope of the hotel, so there's no limit to what you can get. Now think about that. That's the same person who signed DSH, did not put the number of shares in it. But we know, because we have the documents DSH submitted, that they wanted 9,000. And we know they were approved. And in the case of Galaxy, they put in a clause that Galaxy can increase and get more shares as much as they want. In the December 1st, 2022 contract signed between the Citizenship by Investment Board and Caribbean Galaxy, bearing the signatures of Lon Theophilus Chairman and Deputy Chairman Julian Charles and Ying Jing of Caribbean Galaxy, it is agreed that Galaxy would be engaged as a marketing partner to promote the project and as such, can sell the citizenship shares and bring applications to the CIP unit. Therefore, the company would be paid commissions per application. 15,000 US dollars for each main applicant, 10,000 US dollars for the spouse, and 5,000 dollars for each dependent. Hilaire says Chastney changed the laws which now allow for developers to be promoters. The contract also states that the minister would have reduced the minimum investment amount from three hundred thousand U.S. dollars to two hundred thousand dollars if Galaxy were to meet certain conditions, including submitting two hundred applications monthly. Galaxy did not like that. But you also gave Galaxy uh, exclusivity as the real estate investor for their project. Yeah. Yes, but it's their project, so they decide. But for the real estate option. No, that's not true. The contract reads that the exclusive for I real estate in St. Lucia. Yes. Well, I'll double check the contract, but how could Galaxy be ex ex Galaxy would be exclusive for their development? What is their development minister? Yeah, no, but anybody can sell any development unless if the developer says, "I want to sell my development." The contract, in fact, states on page three that the developer Galaxy would be the exclusive and sole real estate option for the maximum period of two years, the duration of the agreement. And under the infrastructure option, that contract states that the payment of funds by applicants, including the administrative fees, 
are to be paid directly to the accounts of Caribbean Galaxy. Further, Galaxy is not required to hold any of the funds in escrow, nor is it required to hold any monies for agreed construction costs in escrow. Galaxy is to transfer the government fees to the CIP unit, and if the administrative fees are varied and or increased, government would compensate Galaxy by providing additional applications, that is, in addition to the 6,000 already allocated. For the DBS News World, Lisa Joseph reporting.